This car only applies to live tourists. So? Kill me. Dos daikaris. The North Americanos had an expression. Bossman's holiday. Which means... When a lifeguard has time off... and goes to another swimming pool. <laughs> it's local. But sometimes it's nice to have an assistant. What's his name again? Mike Wingwin. Very nice fellow. Yeah, very nice. Maggie likes him. So does Dolores. Everybody likes him. He doesn't bother you? Why should it? He was out with Dolores until 3 o'clock in the morning. 3.22. It was Wednesday. Oh, I see. He doesn't bother you. Of course not. He doesn't bother me either. Why should he? Even if Maggie does like him. <laughs> I am talking with a friend of mine from the States the other day. Yes? And he mentions a funny coincidence. Go on, Jose. A family of the same unusual name was with a circus up there. The Flying Wingrens. Something happened to them. Some tragedy. Yes? What else? And nothing else yet. This amigo of mine from the States is very slow. You know how they are in the States. Everything is mañana. He will find them more? If he does... I tell you. Hi. I see you at the cabana. Hey, Lindo Dia, no? Si. Sí. And your Spanish is getting better. Gracias. Drop me, por favor. Sure. Where shall I start? Well. Hi. There's just no end to the services the hotel provides. The life of a lifeguard. It's getting, uh, how you say, like Grand Central Plaza. More, Mike. I want to have a party to celebrate my last victory in the bull ring. And since this is your department, senorita, you might arrange it. On behalf of the hotel, I thank you. How many people will there be, when, and how much money would you like to spend? I do not bother with details. That is why I have Jose. Jose! Oh, thank you. Si. Jose, tell the senorita social director about the plan for my party. Party? Oh, oh. I want to have a party Saturday. Saturday? But that is tomorrow. I know that, Jose. How many people? I don't know how many people. You work it out with her. Go, go somewhere together. Go plan it. You will excuse us. Rub me again, please. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, my darling. And they're pretty? I'll let you know in a minute. Mmm, they are pretty. Mm, I've spent two hours on them already. We we'll saved some of them. Senorita Dolores Gomez is giving a party here tomorrow night, and you are to cater a very fancy buffet. Oh, Dolores Gomez, the, the, the bullfighter? Oh, she's a very beautiful girl. If you like beautiful girls, I think she likes Mike. So maybe we can poison her. Mm -hmm. You like Mike better than all the others, eh? <laughs> Maybe I live to see a grandchild yet. I'll start working on it right away. Oh, oh, you marry first, young lady. Oh, it won't be easy to leave you, Papa. Oh, darling, who is talking about leaving? Higher mountains I could use to. America is a vast wasteland trying for the culture of fine food. The day of the hamburger and hot dog is over. Poor Papa, you don't know it. 
But Maxims will soon be serving hamburgers and hot dogs. Nevertheless, a good chef can get a job anywhere. And a genius with food can be a hero in a country that just conquered its Indians. <laughs> the sky is the limit. So, my genius, my hero, you are suggesting that I marry Mike so you can get to that wasteland? Of course. What about our visas? Oh, darling, that's just it. You marry Mike, which gives you your visa. I am your papa, the only living relative. America is a very sentimental country. They will give me my visa, too. I thought so. Nothing matters but our visas. Darling, if you love him, what difference does it make? Oh, now we're getting around to love. If I love him and if he asks me if, to marry him. If, if, if. I am too old for all these ifs. If. Oh, Mike, I'm glad you're here. What's the matter, Francis? You seem upset. Oh, well, let's get away from the hotel for an hour or so. Great. Where should we go? Oh, anywhere, just so we get away from here. I'm with you. life my father has had, and I lose my patience with him. Royalty is rough. It has been for him to have been the head of a royal house and to lose everything, and I have to work in a kitchen. I wonder if you or I could have adjusted as well as he has. Well, you seem to have done it. I'm younger than he is. You're prettier, too. Now, what about you? How did you earn your living in the States? I was a part of the circus act with my family. And then the act broke up on account, on account of an accident. And I couldn't go on with it. I lost my nerve. You can blame yourself for an accident. I can. It was my fault. And when I got fired here, I, I thought this might be the place to straighten myself out. If I do, well, then I can go back and pull the act together again. That's all my folks know. I wish I could help you, Mike. You can. In a night that's filled with stars and strumming guitars, you can't say no. In Acapulco, where romance blooms and love is in the air, so kiss me tender, love me true. Darling, feel this magic too. Don't say no. You can't say no. And I feel pretty cool. 